que o maior festival de bandas antes do Brasil. Ao todo, oito bandas passaram pelo palco armado na pista de atletismo do Ibirapuera. Para completar a festa, foram escaladas quatro atrações internacionais. Jason Mohan Band, Dio, Bruce Dixon e Scorpions. Com um público estimado em 25 mil pessoas, digo, metaleiros, dificilmente alguém foi para casa descontente. A gente falou com as bandas gringas e também com a banda vencedora da votação popular que rolou via MTV durante o Skull Rock. A gente do Brasil inteiro realmente ligou e votou em vocês. Uma grande surpresa também, isso aí é muito legal. Foi como eu falei lá, né, no, no palco, tinha gente aqui de Cuiabá também, o nego viajou 2 mil quilômetros, mas também tinha pessoal de Campinas, de pessoal daqui, que desde que a gente chegou deram apoio, acharam, pô, que som diferente é esse, entendeu? Porque a, a, a gente faz rock clássico mesmo, é rock, só que com as influências regionais de lá, de Mato Grosso. Eu me sinto I feel like an ambassador for my father because he never had a chance to play in Brazil. So I'll be the first Bonham to play uh, drums in Brazil. And I feel honored to be able to play my father's music here. My father told me to play from the heart. So you will see us up there just enjoy music, smiling, and just giving everything we have just to enjoy it, to make a show. Because it is show, it is showbiz. You played all the classics, including like Deep Purple and Rainbow and Black yeah. Sabbath. Do you usually play this kind of stuff? We do, yeah, we do. We think that uh, it's important for the, we know what people want to hear. They like to hear the things that we did that, that many years ago, especially here. Uh, and Rainbow is such a classic band. I mean, we get such great response when we do a Rainbow song, especially we did Mistreated tonight, which was it's fun for me to sing. I had a brother, cause I was born, they dragged him under. I mean, this will be the first time that, that, that you know, like Roy and Eddie and Dave and these guys uh, that I've been playing with, it's the, first, the biggest they've ever played to so far is probably um, six or seven thousand people. That's the most. So when they walk out, there's uh, 25, uh, well, however many thousand people. Accident of Birth is a, a classic metal record, but done in a modern way. And nobody's nobody's done that. We have ballads, you know, we those ballads keep following us because Rudolf is a great writer, he comes up with great melodies, you know, and I enjoy very much to sing beautiful ballads and beautiful melodies as much as I enjoy the harder stuff. If you look at um, like the way a human being is uh, like uh, feels his emotions, they go from like romantic to aggressive, and but you can't be aggressive all day, and you can't be like uh, like softer and, uh, and romantic all day, so you know sometimes you cry and sometimes you I don't know you 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 crash a window. So it, the music it has the same range. It's like you know we just let out everything uh, a human being has. A banda vencedora da competição oficial dessa edição do Skull Rock vai ser conhecida numa festa que acontece no Morro da Urca, no Rio, na próxima quarta-feira. É claro que o resultado você confere aqui no MTV Noir.